Hi, this is Don, the owner of Don Anthony Realty. Just wanted to give you the inventory report for the Charlotte, North Carolina region uh, in for October of 2010. Basically, this graph right here shows uh, where we are and where we've been um, over the last few years uh, with regard to inventory. Uh, and you can see here the uh, blue line represents uh, where we were in 2008. You can see how we had a huge run up of inventory. Uh, beginning of the, uh, the huge beginning of the, of the market change right there in the fall of 2008. It took all year of 2009 to correct and you can see what's been interesting 2010 we had a little bit of a run up initially but then we had that sell off of inventory due to the uh, tax credits and then again a run up of inventory so now we're back in higher inventory. The good news is is that I was very concerned if you see here these two lines that were almost parallel to each other going upward in 2008 and 2010 this green line is 2010 but the good news is, is that you can see that we had a, a drop off uh, last month and this is again a 90 day rolling average inventory. So hopefully this trend continues and we go back down more towards the, the same levels like we did in 2009. Um, but uh, it'll be yet to be seen. We'll see how it plays out. That was the 90 day average rolling uh, inventory. Now we're looking at the overall months. This means that each month by month, how does the inventory look? You can see here the red line is the red graph is the 2008. You can see how that was going, and then 2009 is the uh, is the green, and you can see how that went down, and then started going back up again. Uh, and then the the purple is 2010, and you can see that the good news is is that it looks like it's going back down again. So hopefully we see a continued trend downward of the inventory to get that back down to a more reasonable level of inventory, and that will help the market. So. Uh, not sure where we are. We're kind of a little bit of a turning point right here. Don't know whether next month, meaning November, will be going up or down. Um, but uh, you'll see if it goes according to the trend of 2008, it'll go back up again. So we'll see how that how that plays out. Um, the good news is again for a 2000 uh, for October, we had a decline in inventory in almost all of the um, of all the months of all the price ranges. Excuse me, uh, except for the 350 to 500 price range. Everything looked good. Everything was down. We had a big decrease in the in the over million dollar range. That's a little bit deceiving because there's a you know so few properties sold in that price range that it does have a big fluctuation, a big impact one way or the other. Uh, but even in the other price ranges, we had declines and almost a 10 percent drop in the 120 to 5, 150 price range, and and so the other ones went down as well. Overall, a decline of 6.6 percent uh, in terms of the inventory levels. Uh, we went from 14.66 in September to. 13.69 months worth of inventory in uh, October. If you look at the homes that are under contract, so the pending sales, the pending sales represent homes that are currently under contract. Again, if you you can look at each of these months going back from 2006, how high of a level we had of the number of homes that were under contract. And you can see 2007 very high, and it pretty much declines every every uh, year towards the end of the year. Um, you can see how low we are in terms of just a, the, the number of homes. Uh, and properties that are currently under contract uh, here in October in comparison to just uh, a few years ago, how, how, the, how big the difference is. You can see we're just about 1,500 uh, here this month compared with, uh, with where it was in 2006 at, at near 3,000, so about half the market. And the same is true with the number of closings. Uh, the number of closings we have each month, uh, we're down again real low um, in comparison with each year. You can see 2006. Uh, this time we were about 3,500, and now we're we're about 1,600 and something. So we're, you know, we're less than 50% of where we were in 2006 in terms of the number of closings. Interestingly, you see that the the Fed continues to uh, push interest rates lower and lower. You can see back from uh, July 2006 they were high, and actually they weren't really high; they were historically low. But uh, in comparison to now, which is just a whole other ball game, really trying to still stimulate sales in the home in the home arena, and uh, we're looking at you know about four and a quarter. Percent uh, a 30-year fix, which is just pretty incredible. Uh, you know, there are definitely rates below four right now, so it's a really great time to buy if you're interested in buying. Uh, prices are lower and rates are lower, so it's good from that standpoint. You can still people are a little bit hesitant to put their homes in the market. This represents the new listings that are out there. How many homes are are going on the market each month? And you can see here we're down below 4,000. Um, so this time October is typically closer to the 5,000 or even in close to 6,000 from previous years ago. So uh, definitely people are a little skittish about putting their homes in the market still. That's your inventory report for October 2010. Uh, again, my name is Don, the owner of Don Anthony Realty. You can find us at DonAnthonyRealty.com. Thanks. Take care.